This is Todd from TT Bike Fit here at uh, Kona at the uh, Cervelo uh, exhibit. This is the new P5X, of course, one of the bikes that everybody's uh, interested in here. And um, we've gone over a bunch of the details with the designer, and we'll go over and look at this one over here, which is a very small one. Um, and of course, you know, the first thing that's going to jump out at you about this bike is that it's it's a beam bike. And also it's it's this fared front wheel kind of like we see on the Diamondback Andean. And so, you know, the question was, okay, well, was that a, an aerodynamic decision? Um, did you guys feel that, that, that this was a more aero uh, way to build a frame? And, and was the beam bike decided on because it was the most aero shape? And interestingly, neither of those were the case. Um, the, the reason the bike is shaped this way was to come up with what they felt was the best uh, way to integrate all the needs to, of a triathlete, of a long course triathlete, to make an integrated system so that you could have the storage and the hydration without detracting from the aerodynamics of speed of the bike. And so this shape was the best way to achieve that uh, entire integrated system. Um, you will, one of the obvious features, the important features about this bike is the, the adjustability for fit reasons. Uh, they have, the, which is very unique here, um, the telescoping aero bar set up um, on a single post here with a single binder bolt in there. So it's almost like a seat post that the, uh, that the aero bars sit on and you got about 110 millimeters of vertical adjustment on there, so that's quite a bit. Uh, you've got, uh, reach-wise, you've got multiple holes in the cups like you frequently see. You can also turn the cup around because it's offset. And finally, you can turn around this mount piece and that gives you a total of 90 millimeters of fore aft on the reach. So a lot of adjustment. The standover height is lower than you would find on a P5. Uh, P5 standover is approximately right across here and you can see that this dips down below that. So it does give a lower standover height uh, for um, also makes it you know available to smaller riders. Disc brakes, of course. Um, this is, we've talked about these before. Um, the best reason, really the, the only good reason I've heard so far for using the disc brakes is that you don't need a brake caliper of some kind on the fork. So you can make a pretty skinny, uh, very aero fork crown area here. And um, you can optimize that for aero without having to figure out how to put a brake in there. And um, Head, who's involved with this bike, and I'll talk more about that in a second, um, specified that the that the disc really only causes about a about a watt of drag or so, and you can more than make that up potentially by the way you can design the uh, front end of the bike. Obviously, you can see the base bars here are flippable. These are in a raised position, or you can also have them in the drop position. But if you're going to use a lot of telescope. A lot of stack increase here, you, you might want to flip those. Um, seat post is obviously adjustable and it can be cut off so that it's flush with the bottom once you get the, once you get a height um, adjustment. Now we should go ahead and uh, try to look at some of the storage options if we can get a bike that's not being... Yeah, so we've got, we've got bento storage up here built in, this is also removable. Uh, the junction boxes go in, in here, clear window for to see the light of the junction box. So those are all nice features. We have a storage box here. So you see you've got a large compartment here which a tubular tire could be stuffed in. And then you've also got an enclosure here, which if I remember how to open the thing, which I probably don't. Um, this little box, you're going to have to believe me on this because I'm doing it one hand, I don't remember how to open it. This little box has your, your spare tube and your CO2 and everything in it. So you open this up and that's where you keep that stuff. Um, and it snaps in there and you don't have to have that storage box, you can just put the cover on if you don't need the storage. And I'm doing a bad job of putting this thing, putting this thing back. Uh, 
it's not in all the way, but we'll we'll get that after I shut the video off. You've got another storage up here. This one comes complete with stuff in it that comes with the bike. No, just kidding. Um, but so plenty of different storage options, and it's very customizable depending on how you you know what you find useful for your race. We're going to go over here and look at another very interesting, uh, unique feature, which is the way that the bike breaks down. So you remove this plate, the uh, the base bar comes in half, and you it comes with this little holster, more or less, that allows you to Velcro the base bar halves onto the fork. And then this is a case, a custom case that they make, although it's not required that you use a custom case for this bike. It'll fit in most standard cases, but um, this is a custom case they make that'll hold the bike perfectly and uh, two sets of wheels, so it's also a very nice case. Um, this is just kind of interesting because these are some various shapes they went through. Kind of like that one, it looks like something out of Star Trek, but uh, in any case, some of the shapes they went through uh, during the course of the design and some, some other questions people are going to have are well how's the how's the weight of the bike uh, it's it's like all these bikes it's fairly heavy it's a little bit heavier than a p5 but that's not not the uh, not the main consideration go out here and look at one on the outside There's uh, be a few different versions. These ones we're seeing here with the NV wheels and the ETAP are top of the line. You're looking at 15-ish for this bike. Um, the Altegra Di2, which comes with head wheels, is 11-ish, um, I've heard. So certainly premium pricing. One interesting thing is where this bike's being made. This bike is actually being made by head. Uh, here in the US in Wisconsin, so um, That really surprised me. I did not know that spoke to the head guy about that. So that's a unique Definitely a unique feature of this of this bike um, As the other one other question you might have is the suspension of this bike um, It's not really designed to be a suspension frame, but just the overall Shape of it is going to give you some small amount of shock absorption because you don't have a direct uh, connection between you know the seat post and down into the uh, the bottom bracket area so you do you know sort of have a, a leaf spring shape with this beam so you're gonna get you know probably some amount of shock absorption out of this thing although it, that's not how it's designed it's designed to be very stiff so that's the uh, P5X first look and if you can get yourself over here to Kona you can uh, take one out for a test ride